Good morning, I'm Becky and I'm here with my helper MJ again. I'm here again. Again, and we are back to show you another live science demo. And today, because we're getting ready for Easter, we are going to do an egg drop challenge. And so we have oh, sort, of. sort of, but yeah, so we, so what we've done, is we went ahead and hard boiled our eggs and we're going to do a challenge. We take our eggs and drop them into this cup what? without touching them. What? That's pretty cool. So we are and we're also going to do a um, um you know a bonus. Yes. That's so we thing. were talking um getting ready for this and MJ was like, hey, I have another way to explain the science content. So there'll be a bonus one which we're gonna talk about later. So um what you need to do the egg drop challenge is of course you need some eggs. I recommend using your hard boiled eggs. Um Sometimes in this challenge, it may crack and it's a little less messy if it's your hard boiled egg. Plus, it's a really great, fun way to use your Easter eggs. You'll need a glass, a taller glass. Kevin. Yeah, we made a purple egg. Hmm. Um, a glass with water in it. And you're going to need a um, plate. Um, we're using some paper plates smiley. or these smiley face plates. You could also use a tin pie plate. I would recommend something light like a paper plate or an aluminum pipe. Don't use anything real heavy for this. And you need toilet paper tubes. So hang on to those toilet paper tubes. And if you so. don't if you don't have any, you can um just roll up a piece of um, yep. tin foil or paper. Like cardstock would work, or like a paper towel to cut in half, that would work too. So you ready to demonstrate this? And All right. before we do, we have Oh yeah, we want to mention Spike is continuing to join us. He's um, our science mascot. Because we did not mention him in the last video. You forgot to. But we did have him. You did. All right, so what we're going to do is to set up our challenge of getting our egg into this glass without touching it. We're going to take our plate. So first of all, we had water in our glass. So we're going to take our plate. And set it on top. Then we, and then you, we're going to put the toilet paper tube yep. or whatever you might have there. And then we are going to take the um egg I, I lost my words for a minute yeah. and then set on top and then what mom's going to do because i'm not very I, i'm not very good at this part is you are going to smack it really hard and that and the egg will fall into you think it will yes you think it'll do so a yeah, few you did this, oh. sorry, no. so <laughs> the challenge is to not touch this egg few pointers make sure that your toilet paper tube is centered over your glass and it and, and it works best if it's like if it's sideways like this, yes. not like that. Yeah, so make sure that it's sideways. All right. Oh, wait, I All right. The... That's okay. All right, you can give me a countdown. Three, two, one, snack. Yeah. Woo! Success! We got so, the table a little wet. Go. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So, Come some of in. the science behind this, we who do we have to thank for helping us know about this? Science? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. So, this is a demonstration of Isaac's. Isaac Newton's laws, and we were talking about this earlier. Do you want to explain it? Mm -hmm. All right. We are we are using Isaac Newton's um, two false laws: an object at rest will stay at rest unless um, accounted on by an outside force. Yep. And an object in motion will stay in motion unless accounted on by an outside yeah. force. Yeah. So we are going to show this to you again, but this time, like physics. Like physics. Um, to help understand this, we actually recorded this in slow motion earlier today. Different colored egg. Different colored egg. Um, we're going to pull that up and we're going to show this to you so you can see this in action a little bit slower and then we'll talk about the science again. So run the video. It takes a little bit to get started because it's in it's, slow mo. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's my mom's hand. That is my hand. Okay. Here we go. It's going to go. And it's coming. And <laughs> success! Mom, that's the first time you haven't clapped after that. I know, I should clap. I usually clap because I'm so excited. So <laughs> what you saw in that video is so the object at rest is our egg. And what and what part are we moving on this? You're moving the plate, and when you smack the plate really hard. Um, it jogs this, um, and then the egg, it will fall over at just the right time, and then the egg, oh, it's smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we'll show this one more time. 
And so what's happening when, yeah, hang on just one second. So what's happening is the egg, we're not bumping the egg. So it stays right in this section like and an then- object at rest. rest. Yeah, and then once- Because rest basically means not moving. Exactly, rest means not moving. And then once the support is gone, it goes straight down. So you wanna do it this time? Yeah. All right. I hope I do it fast enough. Wow. Woo, success, yay! So for yay. those of you who just joined us and saw what we're doing, what we did is we have a glass of water and we just put a plate on top of it. There's so much dye on this one. I know, we can't help. Yeah, your eggs come out of a dye. And then we take our toilet paper tube, set it on top, you, and we and put like, the egg. And like, oh, mom, the eggs. I know, <laughs> I know. Um, and but like you said, if um if you don't have toilet paper tube, you can just roll up a mm -hmm. piece of paper or something. Yeah. And so, then my bonus is it's human. Is yeah. what we're doing next. So we were talking um earlier and MJ's like, hey, I know of another way to demonstrate this. So um if you don't have eggs or you've by the time you you watch this, you've eaten all your eggs, we have another way to do this, which is I, I I'm gonna let my science helper explain it because she knows what she's doing. Well, all you need is um, a table, um, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, you need a plate. Um, we're using just our smiley plates again. And you need a few coins, like this. Because this is a good one you can do if you don't have any eggs at home. Exactly. You can do this one instead of just talking about that. Now, in this experiment, it's really important that you flip your plate over, right? Yeah. Like yes. This. Okay. And what happens basically is I'm going to pull that really hard, and then the eggs will fall like coins. Um, like sorry, coins. <laughs> the coins will fall right there. Um, um, and yeah, just be in the same position. Whoa, that's amazing. So that in the exact same spot, um, they kind of moved a little, but that's okay. Yeah. And then my and I did it again. So we don't have it in small mode. Too bad. But that's okay. We might have to do that later. So, um, excellent. So the really great things about these experiments is that you can keep trying them. We've had a lot of fun using our slow-mo camera, boomerang. So it's really fun um, to use those tools because you can see what's happening. But this is definitely a great example of Newton's laws. And oh, in the oh, plate okay, example, the, the egg thing is going uh, right Yeah, here. here's the egg thing. So that's okay. It's really cool to do it again. So what you're going to see happen is I'm only moving the plate in our slow-mo video and the egg is going to stay right in its same plane as soon as the support's gone boom boom there it goes so this is just reminding me this is reminding me of like something i watched i don't know what it yeah so there's some really cool experiments out there about physics we love physics so next we, we want to thank you for joining us today for our live science demo and just a reminder we have more great experiments and other activities coming to you Some every day I wasn't there, but that's okay yeah. um at on our facebook um page and you can also go to childrensmuseum.org slash museum at home museum at home for just more so. great stuff and if you do this please make sure that you share your videos or your pictures with us and tag the museum hashtag museum at home we would Love, Love to see, see what it. you're walking on. Exactly. Yeah. So have a great day, and we'll see you again next time for our live science demo. Bye. Bye. -bye.